Hey guys, so I just did a drum cover here at my studio of Blink-182's Bored to Death, but it is the Steve Aoki remix to it. Um, I love both Steve Aoki and um, Blink-182, so this is my drum and DJ setup. And I'm just going to give you a real quick kind of look at what I use for miking and the DJ rig and, uh, you know, kind of the lowdown of uh, what this all what this all does and um, how it all works together. So, um, first off, let's get into the mics. Uh, we got a kick drum. This is a 22 inch um, uh, DW kick. And for the kick mic, we are using an Audix D6 microphone. Um, this is pretty heavily um, dampened. I got a full blanket in here. It's really kind of looking for a very, very punchy sound. Um, and then um, this hi-hat is it's kind of been like thrown together this is like a cymbal stand onto one clamp onto another clamp that reduces and the hi-hats because I can't get my foot over there for a pedal um, as you can see it's uh, it's really just kind of sitting it's kind of like that partially closed um, sound and you know one day maybe I'll get a remote hi-hat or something but for right now it's it's really working out for snare drum this is a 14 inch Ludwig super sensitive um, and I got this sure beta 98 I believe that is on top there um, come around over here um, Remo vintage coated head on top and you can see the damper um, from the light from underneath. There's a damper on here to kind of give you that sound. Um, I love this snare drum, it's one of my favorite. And I just started using this Beta 98 for for miking the snare. And uh, I don't know, I like it. It's a little something different from my normal 57 I use. Um, for this big crash, it's a big 20 inch uh, A Custom Zilligen crash. Um, and it's really on an angle as you can tell. Um, because I'm standing and playing drums so the angle has got to be good for me to hit it otherwise it's just like tapping the uh, tapping it like a ride or something uh, for the kick pedal we got this DW 5000 um, I've had this pedal for quite a while but I, I really love it um, I'm not using the double pedal right now and it's on this big piece of um, rubber and that's what kind of helps not slip around at least in this situation here um, if you noticed um, I turn on the lights about halfway through the drum cover and it's with this pedal that I made and it's got if you can see that little switch down there it's a little push button switch so when I turn it on the, all the lights turn on everywhere and then I can hit it again and it'll turn it back off so it's kind of like a cool way that I can kind of do my own like little mini light show. So that's really it for the drums. Obviously I stand and play drums so it uh, makes it definitely difficult. Um, so I am not claiming that I'm a, a ridiculous DJ. I'm really just kind of like blending songs together. Um, so I use my iPad Air 2 um, with this program. Uh, which is called DJ2 and you know it's is you know kind of your your typical thing that would go on for for DJing off an iPad uh, nothing too special with that it's on um it's on a mount which I've mounted to this this big cabinet here I got a little Mackie mixer and really this is for um, the vocals that I sing live um, I kind of sing along to my own EDM tracks I take out the main vocal and this is just a little mixer it's really mainly for the headphone output so that I can use my Vic Firth headphones to drum so I can actually hear the mix because even monitors right next to me it's really really tough to hear so um, but yeah this just controls this and then um, I can run this main mix to to my own speakers if I want um, and then like I said I got the microphone in 
which runs to this and Terry's auto tune. And I am not afraid to admit that I'm just not a great singer. And I definitely want to sound a little better live. And I know people have told me, you know, just suck it up and just don't sound great. But I'm really not a good vocalist. So um, I'm definitely a studio guy who just, you know, happened to uh, stumble into performing live. And I, you know, I like to still like to sound good. Um, I'm using this Samson, uh, I got a wireless Samson microphone, and that is what I use um, as my main mic. We got a BBE 462 uh, Sonic Maximizer, and this kind of helps out with, um, this kind of helps out with some real simple bass and treble boosts or cuts if I need anything. Um, Sorry, I'm trying to get this glare off here. Um, this button here, this actually turns all the power off to the whole rig. And then this turns on and off the green lights up front here. So that I can turn these on and off. I can still, because it's on a separate switch, I can turn the lights off, but still keep all the gear on, you know, when you're waiting in between sets. You don't want to start anything up fresh. And then this is actually where I store all my stuff so the iPad the mics all that stuff goes in there it's also a place to uh, to be able to you know lock things up so when you're at a venue um, not saying I don't trust everybody but you know when you bring enough gear with um, you know it gets a little scary and then we'll come around to the front here um, so this was a 4x10 base cab. And what I did is I cut all the actual magnet and the frame off the back of these speakers. So they're probably only maybe an inch and a half thick right now. So if you touch the paper, I mean, you could essentially push right through it because um, it's really just giving you the look that there's speakers there, which I just thought was kind of cool. Um, I put some white tag board back there to kind of make it contrast a little better. I really just wanted something that looked, you know, semi-cool and really just got my iPad um, up high enough because I'd be standing the whole time. Um, and then for overheads that we shot with, these are Audix F15 microphones right there. Um, in stereo. Um, and they are, I know one looks, one is higher than the other, but there's actually, it's the same distance from there to that black dot to there. Um, so we don't have any phasing issues when it comes to recording these drums. And this is all the inputs and outputs for my DJ rig. Um, this is the mic output. This is the, like the actual audio from the iPad output. And then this is the headphone jack. So it's all built in off the side of here. Just kind of make things easier and quicker to set up when you're at a venue obviously um, this is a very unique rig so you know I gotta bring as much stuff with as I can to make sure um, here's some other mics we got these are some other Audix I'll, I might use if I ever bring Tom's with and then I bring with this uh, gosh I forget what the name of this mic is this is a, I think it's an AKG I believe it's a D112 um, then we got another beta 98 in there just in case but yeah so the most part uh this is my dj rig um there's some lights in the background it's like a big blue and red light um that flashes led and then it's got a couple like old school blue floodlights um these speakers i used to practice with these are the harbinger um the 15s i think they're 600 watts i got another one there um and that's just really so I can pretty much get mic levels and drum sounds and kind of get things set up before I actually show up to a venue. Um, I like to be as prepared as humanly possible. So, um, yeah, so that for the most part is the drum and DJ rig. So we are here uh, today at my studio. Um, it's called True Sound Studios. You can find True Sound Studios on YouTube and Instagram. Uh, we post on Instagram every day. On YouTube we post maybe at least one video a week. 
Um, we got Apogee, SSL, API, Trident. This is an Allen Heath board with, I modified these first 24 channels with Neve preamps. We got a whole bunch of DBX uh, compressors over here. I love DBX stuff. Got some big JBL speakers, Dyn Audio, Polk Audio, and then we even check mixes with these uh, these Beats. Because um, not everybody's going to listen to stuff out of such beautiful high-end speakers. So, anyways, this is my studio. That's the Drum and DJ rig. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and um, yeah, keep checking back for more Drum and DJ drum covers. All right, guys, we'll see you soon.